This is the new NVIDIA app where you can know how much input delay you're getting in the game with AI enhanced game visuals and with a better system UI. So the app consists of five little sections and over here you can do all the things which are required in order for it to enhance your game. Currently this particular app is in the beta version so you can expect a full release a little bit later but right now what it can do and what it is capable of doing for your game is by far good. Firstly in the driver section as you can see this is the driver section where you can install update drivers and there's a very interesting feature where you can reinstall the same driver again. If something happens to the driver or your display is not coming up or you're having some issues with the game crashes or something, you can simply reinstall the same driver and that's going to help you a lot because we want the latest driver. We don't want to back to the previous drivers and we can simply reinstall the same driver and then see whether it fixes our display problem or we're having any crashes in a particular game. Now the big question is how do we get this particular app? So in order to get this app, what we need to do is open any one of your browser and simply search over their NVIDIA app. Now over here, you have to click on the second Second link which is the download nvidia app for gamers and creators as you can see here is the beta version as it said that nvidia app is an essential companion for pc gamers and creators which keeps your pc up to date with the latest nvidia drivers and technology and it can optimize a game application with unfiltered gpu control center capturing your favorite movements with a powerful recording tool so here you simply need to download let's click on this particular button of download the beta version once it downloads, simply double click and open it. It will install it. One thing you have to make sure that after you have downloaded and installed it, you have to sign in over here. Without signing some of the features, you may not be able to tweak or some of the features you may not be able to access. First thing over here, we have the home page where you're going to see all the games that we have. And moreover, there are certain features which we have. Like for example, I have Nvidia Broadcast. You can download Nvidia Omniverse for 3D creative apps, Nvidia Canvas, Frame View, And there are some games which are there in the, which you can optimize now the important section is the graphic section now over here you can tweak a particular game which in in our case will be fortnite or we can do it in the global level which will affect every single game that we have so i'm going to do it in the program section for only for fortnite and the very first thing is dynamic vibrance so basically what does this do is that whatever your clarity you're getting in the game if you on this using the help of an ai it will enhance that clarity so what we're going to do is this particular setting, we're going to make it off. The reason is that I don't want to enhance my clarity because that will take much more power from the graphic card, which will decrease the performance or it will lower the FPS. We want higher FPS. So this particular setting will be off. For the CUDA, you have to select the GPU, which you have. So I have an RTX 3080. I've selected that particular graphic card over here. So make sure your main graphic card is here. Uh, DSR factors, which is dynamic super resolution. This particular thing, I have put it on factors of 4 and smoothness of 33. This is I have put in the global section so I cannot change it over here. But I can go into the global section and I can change it over here if I want. Like you can put this and completely off. The reason being is this particular setting is set over here is because in the NVIDIA control panel, as you can see, I have the DRS factor is 4x and DRS smoothness at 33%. So as you can see, both of them are selected here also. So it's the same as well over here. You can put it at off or you can put at this particular setting which is I'm getting a 33% smoothness over here. So you can choose this particular setting over here. After that, the image scaling, it will just make your image sharper and it will just increase a bit of performance. As you can see here, it will increase frame rates with GPU upscaling and sharpening. So make sure this particular setting is on. You can choose any particular value at which render resolution you want to get. Since we want to play it in 1080p, so I'm going to choose the highest one. You can choose the second one also, which is the default one. You can sharpen to whichever value you desire, but I'm going to put it, let's say around 60%. Once this is done, we're going to scroll down, low latency mode, make sure this particular setting is on. This is very important. Max frame rate, I would recommend you to put it at on. Now this is completely depend on what frame rate you're getting. For example, let's say your GPU is capable of getting to 60 FPS, but due to performance lags and issues, you're not able to reach that value or sometimes it is reaching and sometimes it's coming down. So I would recommend you to put in a value where it is much more stable. For example, if it's not able to reach 60 FPS, I would recommend to put it like around 50 or let's say 40 or 30 whichever is comfortable so that it doesn't go beyond that limit and the gpu doesn't have to like make it go more above what the limit is so that your performance is better so make sure you choose a value which is better for your graphic card whichever you're using for me i would use it as off monitor technology now this is completely based on your monitor if you have g-sync in your monitor I would recommend this to be turned off because when we have the monitor technology, it's written over here that it refresh the policy attached to the monitor. What I believe is that I would put a fixed refresh over here. So whatever the refresh rate I have, so it's 165 Hertz. That is what I'm going to get. I have set it to fixed refresh. Even if my monitor is G-Sync compatible, so I would not recommend using that. Next power management mode, we want to prefer maximum performance because 
that is what we want we want as much as the gpu to give to the fps so that we get much more performance from the gpu so make sure this is maximum performance vertical sync off and this virtual reality will put it as off as well so this setting you can choose over here for any graphic card whichever you're using one thing you have to keep in mind the drs factors this particular thing you can choose this particular setting also or you can make it off see the difference of what you're getting for the game if you're getting good performance with this particular setting you can play the game on that if you're getting bad performance just make sure this one is off or you can decrease the smoothness a little bit and then see how your game is performing now if you want the same thing for the global settings which will affect every single game which you have in your computer you can do the same thing over there also but there may be some games which are performing very well on your pc so you don't have to put those tweak settings for that one so a couple of changes you can do here first link the low latency mode should be on that is very important and secondly the power management mode should be the prefer maximum power because we want the gpu to give as much power as it has for the game because we don't want the gpu to lag behind in giving the power which it can but it is not giving due to this particular setting which is on normal so if let's say your pc is capable of giving let's say 90 percent of its power but right now it is giving only 60 percent so that may be one reason you're getting low fps so we want it to choose as much as power it has and give throughout the game which is currently playing so make sure this particular setting is prefer maximum power vertical sync should be off for every single game now coming to the settings tab over here this is my system rig as you can see but here the important thing is that i'm going to scroll down over here as you can see we have game filters and photo mode now, if you're not a creator or if you're not someone who feels like there should be a photo mode or something for the game so you can turn this particular setting off which is not required for you because this is just an unwanted setting for you which is running in the background and it may take a bit of performance as well so make sure this particular setting is off after that for the drivers you can automatically download the drivers and let you choose when to install them you can turn this on like whenever there's a new driver it will automatically download it but there is a disadvantage of this that if you have a limited access to internet then it will download a driver let's say of 600 megabytes it will eat up that much of bandwidth which you had so it's your own personal choice whether you to turn this on or not now the overlay if you click on this one or you can click the shortcut of alt z here you can record gameplays as you can see we can do instant gameplays photo modes and highlights and everything but important thing is the statistics which you can see render latency reflex monitor position mouse latency so you can check your input delays for mouse for keyboards for your monitor and for the entire game which you're getting so that you can get to know that which is lagging behind as you can see pc display average pc system latency everything is shown over here so this is one good thing overall the ui i didn't like much but still it is looking good you can customize the ui however you want like i can want for only for fps i want for basic i want for advanced which will give us my gpu utilization how much temperature i'm getting for the gpu what is the clock how much voltage i have ha having right now render latency will get into the game as you can see it's running on the top right hand corner then we can do custom also like we can select which one we want so that is a good thing the only the one thing i feel they miss is that uh, when we talk about the nvidia control panel uh, this particular has a lot of settings which are there and we can just tweak each and every one however we want but here there are only a little bit of settings since it's in the beta version so that's why there are not much of the settings and they have only given important settings which we can tweak but probably in the future we're going to get a lot more settings over here which when we tweak we're going to get far better performance of what we're currently getting so those were the settings for the new nvidia app do try them and do let me know in the comment section that did it improve your performance of what you're currently getting if you have any questions regarding the nvidia app or any other issue you can put down in the comment section or this is my x handle you can go over there tag me put a screenshot if this video helped you please don't forget to like button consider subscribing hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching Bye bye